Imagine you're stuck in traffic on your way to work, or to an important meeting, or to a date. You're frustrated, bored, and anxious. You wish you could just fly over the cars and get to your destination faster. Well, what if I told you that you can? What if I told you that there is a car that can drive on the road, take off vertically, and fly in the air? A car that is 100% electric, eco-friendly, and futuristic. A car that is the first of its kind to be approved by the FAA for flight testing. A car that is the ultimate solution to urban congestion and mobility. Sounds too good to be true, right? But it's not. It's real. It's here. It's the LF Model A, the first legal flying car. The LF Model A is the brainchild of Aleph Aeronautics, a company founded in 2015 by four engineers and entrepreneurs in Palo Alto, California. Their vision was to create a personal ground vehicle that would also be capable of vertical takeoff and forward flight without the need for runways or helipads. They wanted to make a flying car that would look like a car, function like a car, and park like a car. A car that would be easy to use, safe, and affordable. A car that would be the first real flying car. To achieve this vision, they had to overcome many technical and regulatory challenges. Some of the components they needed simply did not exist in the world, so they had to invent them from scratch. For example, they developed a highly specialized propeller motor system that would avoid differential stress and allow for smooth transition from driving to flying mode. They also designed a novel biplane configuration where the doors of the car would convert into wings and the rear propellers would tilt to provide thrust and lift. They used advanced software and sensors to ensure flight stability and safety and integrated redundant systems to prevent failures. They also made the car fully electric to reduce noise and emissions and to take advantage of the growing network of charging stations. But designing the car was only half the battle. The other half was getting the approval from the authorities to test and fly the car. The FAA, the Federal Aviation Administration, is the agency that regulates all aspects of civil aviation in the United States, including flying cars. The FAA has strict rules and standards for aircraft certification, safety and operation, which are not easy to meet, especially for a new and unconventional vehicle like the LF Model A. The FAA also has to balance the interests of various stakeholders, such as the public, the industry, the government, and the environment, which are not always aligned. The FAA has to ensure that flying cars are not only safe, but also compatible with the existing air traffic system, and that they do not pose a threat to security, privacy, or noise pollution. The LF Aeronautics team worked closely with the FAA for four years to demonstrate the feasibility and reliability of their flying car. They conducted hundreds of test flights, both on the ground and in the air, and submitted extensive documentation and data to the FAA. They also participated in various FAA programs and initiatives, such as the Advanced Air Mobility National Campaign, which aims to accelerate the integration of emerging aviation technologies into the national airspace. Finally, on June 12, 2023, the FAA issued a special airworthiness certificate to the LF Model A, allowing the aircraft to fly in limited locations for exhibition, research, and development. This was a historic moment, as the LF Model A became the first vehicle, in the traditional sense, to receive permission to fly. It was also the first electric car and the first car with vertical takeoff capabilities to achieve this milestone. But what does this mean for us? The potential customers. When will we be able to buy the LF Model A? And how much will it cost? Well, according to the company, the flying car is now available for pre-order with a deposit of $150 for a regular spot on the waiting list or $1,500 for a priority spot. The car will sell for about $300,000, which is not cheap, but not outrageous, considering the technology and innovation involved. The company hopes to start delivering the cars to the customers by 2025, but that will depend on several factors, such as the availability of components, the production capacity, and the demand. The company also plans to offer a subscription service, where customers can pay a monthly fee to access a fleet of flying cars without having to own one. This could make the flying car more accessible and affordable for the masses. But before you get too excited, there are still some limitations and challenges that the Aleph Model A and flying cars in general have to overcome. For one thing, the car will only have room for a single passenger, which means you won't be able to share the ride with your friends or family. For another thing, 
The car will be a low speed vehicle, meaning it won't go faster than about 25 miles per hour on a paved surface. If you need a faster route, you will have to use the car's flight capabilities, which will require a special license and training. You will also have to follow the FAA rules and regulations for flying, such as altitude, speed and airspace restrictions. You will also have to deal with the weather, the wind and the visibility, which could affect your flight performance and safety. And you will have to find a suitable place to land and park, which may not be easy in crowded urban areas. Another challenge that the Aleph Model A faces is the competition. The Aleph Model A is not the only flying car in development. There are dozens of other companies and projects that are working on similar or different concepts of personal air mobility. One of them is Volocopter, a Germany-based company that has marketed its Volocity craft as the first commercially licensed electrically powered air taxi, a vehicle which will eventually run without a pilot. The Velocity is a multi-rotor aircraft that can carry two passengers and has a range of 22 miles or 35 kilometers and a speed of 110 kilometers per hour. The company has conducted several test flights in various cities around the world and plans to launch its service in Singapore by 2023. So, how does the Aleph Model A compare to the Velocity? Well, the Aleph Model A has some advantages, such as a longer range, a higher speed, and a more car-like appearance. But the Velocity has some advantages too, such as a larger capacity, a lower price, and a more established market. The competition between the two vehicles and the others will be fierce, and the outcome will depend on many factors, such as customer preference, regulatory approval, and technological innovation. The flying car is here, and it is here to stay. The flying car is not a fantasy or a sci-fi dream. It is a reality, and it is a reality that is changing the world. The flying car is the future of mobility, and the Aleph Model A is leading the way. If you want to learn more about the Aleph Model A and other amazing technologies, don't forget to subscribe to my channel Tech Pulse Pro and hit the bell icon to get notified of my new videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.